question that was, was asked so many times. If we are thinking on having a second baby, here in Korea I got the opportunity to do very, very cool things. I think it's so funny because it puts a smile on everyone's face. I also wasn't very confident when I was a child with my hair. When Fanta was born, I felt that we grew much, much closer. Uh, only because something is difficult, it doesn't mean that it should stop you. Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. So today it's gonna be a Q&A video because I have something to celebrate. I reached 100,000 subscribers on YouTube this week and at the same week also 200,000 subscribers on Instagram so I'm so happy thank you so much for staying with me following my our journey like my and my family's journey here in Korea and yes so also I saw last week's video many people congratulated me in the comments um, because they already saw that I reached like 100,000k no 100k <laughs> and uh, yes thank you so much I was so happy I didn't realize that you guys were like checking out how many <laughs> subscribers I have and like how my channel is growing so thank you very much and yes last Two days ago, I I published on my Instagram stories that I'm gonna do a Q&A session also because it's been a while that I haven't done Q&A and so since there are many new people, of course there were a lot of <laughs> repetitive questions so I will link down below the, the questions and the links of the questions that I already answered in previous videos so you can check them out here I chose only questions that um, that has been asked frequently and also that has been not answered yet <laughs> so um, there have been many questions I tried to really pick the most interesting ones I would say but uh, also I need to check maybe uh, I need to shorten this video even more because I have no idea how long I will talk for each question I will try to answer them as good as possible and yeah I think we can get started also Fanta is at daycare now because I already tried to film this video yesterday with her it was impossible <laughs> it was really impossible she was going up and down and up and down and grabbing the camera and so I was like no okay I need to postpone the filming of this video to a day when she's at daycare and do it without any interruptions <laughs> so yeah anyway let's get started with the first question um there there were quest a question that was was asked so many times I don't know how many times but really a lot of times and that was the question if we are thinking on having a second baby if Fanta is gonna get a sibling soon anytime soon and so or if we're planning to have other kids so all these questions I need to answer like um, with yes we would love to have uh, more children as uh, or one more child I don't know how many but um, we cannot really plan you know like you cannot plan kids so we will just see how it goes and yeah but I of course would like Fanta to have a sibling because I think it would be very nice for her to be able to play with someone and also because I can already start feeling that she's becoming like kind of a princess and she like all the attention is on her <laughs> so definitely yes if it's possible <laughs> so guys as you might have realized from my recent videos is that my life has been very hectic and i mean that's normal i have a baby soon to be toddler <laughs> she's very energetic she moves a lot and she even started walking and this is amazing but it really change the way how my daily routine goes how i can take care of myself and i realized that because i'm much more stressed out and also i cannot 
eat regular meals as much as I wish to and also I cannot get enough of sleep most of the days and I realized that this really affected my gut health and this is where today's sponsor comes in which is Mastic Gum by the brand From Bio. It's a very popular brand here in Korea and they also sell on Amazon US. Let me quickly tell you some facts about the Korean brand From Bio, which was established in 2006 and continues to strive to become a global healthcare company. They are focusing on research and development of health functional foods and new drugs that are the driving force of a happy life. And as you might have seen in one of my previous videos, is that From Bio specializes in joints and cartilage treatment with their main product, Boswellia. The reason why I decided to start using these Mastic Gum Supplements is because it's known for its positive effects regarding all issues on stomach and gastro health and that's because it's rich in antioxidant and anti-inflammatory compounds. The From Bio Mastic Gum helps you to keep your gut health in optimum conditions and also it provides long-term relief of stomach related issues. This Mastic Gum Supplement is 100% from natural sources and it's derived from the precious and rare Mastic Tree which only grows on the Greek island Chios. The package contains 30 pouches of From Bios Mastic Gum and contains 1050 mg of Mastic and 107.8 mg of oleanic acid per serving and one stick provides the optimal daily intake to keep your stomach happy and healthy. And also the packaging is made in a very travel-friendly format so you can use it by directly putting it in your mouth or you can dilute it with water or the way that I like it the best is to put it in your yogurt and eat it with your daily cereal. It mainly helps to prevent the excessive gastric acid which I happen to get usually when I'm stressed out and also it protects the stomach from a lot of other issues. And as we all know with a happy and comfortable stomach we can spend our day much more lively and much more energetic so i would say that this is the number one korean made supplement for the year 2023 and also the size the format is very travel friendly as i said before and that's also perfect for people who usually don't like to use pills Can you manage your time? I love Fanta, she's smiling and happy all the time. Thank you. And yes, um, time management is something very important. Uh, I already learned time management while I was in high school. I think that was the first time when I, when I had to learn that because uh, I went to a very difficult high school. So I had to really be able to know how to um, plan my days in order to be always be to always be prepared for uh, exams or like just in order to go to school so um, that was the time when I started and that was also very helpful even though I hated high school <laughs> it was very helpful for university then because at that point I already knew how to manage my time in order to be able to study for those big exams that are at the end of the year <laughs> uh, also for me it's very important to have a schedule a daily schedule it's much more difficult if you have a baby because your schedule will change every single month because like babies growing there are other stuff that they need there are other like sleeping habits or eating habits that they have so um, uh, that was very challenging actually for me at the beginning or it's still ch challenging now that she's going to get daycare it's much easier for me because I can still do my I can start again doing my routine which is a thing that really helps me to calm down because I feel like I'm a really planning person so I don't like spontane spontaneity <laughs> when do you dream 
what language do you mainly dream in? So, as most of you guys know, I speak five languages. I, my native languages are German and Ular. And then I speak Italian because I'm from Italy. I grew up in Italy and I was born in Italy. And then um, I speak English <laughs> and I speak Korean. And actually, if I dream or let me just say if I think because I don't really remember many of my dreams. Um, if I think, I always think in the language that I'm supposed to use at the moment. Like, for example, if I'm writing something in Italian or I'm talking to a person in Italian, then I think in Italian. And or if I talk with my husband in Korean, then I just think in Korean. So I never think in one language and then translate. How do you stay constant? You make motherhood, wife and career look so easy. Thank you. Uh, actually, it's it's not as easy as it looks like <laughs> because yeah, um, as you guys know, on social media, you can only see like a tiny fraction of everyone's life. I try to have a good schedule. I try to make my goals. I have like some weekly goals, monthly goals, quarterly goals. Quarterly, quarter, quarter, yearly goals and yearly goals, and uh, in that way, I'm able to to just stay constant. I try not to plan too many things at the at the at one time. So in order that I know that that thing that I want to do, I'll be able to do 100%. Please tell us about your Itaewon class experience and congratulations on your milestones. Thank you. Ito one class. It's been a long time when I filmed Ito one class. It was a very good experience because I was able to meet some very uh, popular. <laughs> I didn't know the name. Famous, uh, many famous actors, and in general, I would say because I didn't have a lot of lines because I'm not an actor, and I think that would be very difficult for me to act with. Speaking. I do a lot of commercials. I did many commercials for big brands like Samsung, Kia, Hyundai and other also Korean and international brands but uh, it's always face acting and also in Itaewon class it was mainly the same thing so that's why it was not like a new experience but still it was fun because so many people recognized me and I, I'm still very surprised that people are still recognizing me because I had a totally different hairstyle and I feel like I look very different and also it was like very short time when I was on the on on the on the screen so it was very I was very like oh thank you <laughs> and yeah but in general I would say that um, here in Korea I got the opportunity to do very very cool things and uh, meet a lot of very famous people and that's very very cool because it's a thing that I think if I would have worked in another country I wouldn't have had these big opportunities because I mean foreign models are they are coming more and more now but they're still rare here in Korea so it's like I mean we're not many so <laughs> uh, you understand what I mean does Fanta have a Korean name yes she does and her full name actually is Fanta Lian Lian is her Korean name and uh, as you might have heard in the grandparents video her grandparents call her always by or usually by her Korean name which is Lian and usually when people ask uh, how she what's her name we always say like Panta Lian and they can choose which name they can choose so yeah but her name is Panta Lian so it's not um, in Korea there is no first and second name so it's both the first name. How was your adaption with your husband's family? At the beginning I must say it was like it was not hard it was just uh, I will still I know I will still make the video um, when I met my in-laws for the first time because I made so many mistakes cultural mistakes and so it was still always a little bit ah okay I'm gonna meet my in-laws, I need to try to show 
the best part of me even though i don't know how and so yeah and also since i don't live very close we don't meet so many times but when fanta was born i felt that we grew much much closer because we started meeting much more often and also we started going to vacations together and that really helped us to grow tighter as a family also when i started to be able to speak korean much better also that was very really really helpful how long did it take for you to learn crochet some of you might know i have also a crochet channel where i show crochet tutorials and i learned crochet when I was a teenager because my dad was doing crochet like at that time or even even when I was a child he was doing then he stopped but I still saw the stuff that he did and he made a lot of hats you know the hats where you put inside the dreads or scarves and so he taught me how to do it but then I was not really consistent in doing it because except from scarf I didn't know what to do and also at that time crochet was a little bit out of fashion it was something that usually only grandmas do and when I start like when I got pregnant uh, with Fanta I felt like um, I felt like I need to do something with my hands and so I looked up on YouTube and uh, I saw that there are a lot of um, crochet tutorials like for baby clothes and so I started making baby clothes which I think is a great way to start because you're not doing just scarves <laughs> but you're doing really clothes which are really like items that you can use much more and baby clothes are much faster done so because making like this takes a lot of time and so it's very hard to see the result then after Fanta was born I actually realized that crochet clothes became more popular so I started also doing my own clothes and that's why I started doing my channel is it hard for a foreign to get a job in South Korea like professional jobs I think yes I never worked anything else than being a freelancer I uh, in Korea so like a freelance model and now I do YouTube so I think like an office job is very difficult first of all because you need to get an invitation from the company for the visa so you need to be very special <laughs> that they want to have you and go through all the process of making the visa which is not easy so I think it's very difficult but I mean uh, only because something is difficult it doesn't mean that it should stop you or prevent doing it so or prevent trying so just if you have the dream of working in a Korean company just try I love how your skin looks and so my questions uh, what products do you use um, actually I oh, <laughs> I already showed um, the products that I use uh, in January when I did the collaboration with my favorite Korean skincare brand and you were able to buy and actually the brand came back to me and was very happy that so many people were interested in the skincare routine so that's why and actually it's very cool that you ask this now because uh, the skincare deal is back from today so um, check out on my Instagram there you will see the my skincare routine and also the link for my skincare box what happened to your piercings you had before yes i had piercings i had a septum i had one piercing up here and one back there and that's it actually and i just removed them i think they didn't look good on me like the septum i didn't like it anymore and for the other piercings i always had to put them out during shoots and then it was a big struggle to put them back again so I was just like yeah let's let's leave them out anything new funny interesting you have noticed about Fanta recently maybe a cute habit actually 
Uh, yes, and that's uh, <laughs> now that she started walking, uh, she re I, I feel like she's very proud of walking. So sometimes I go with her on the, at, uh, on the park so she can walk with me, like I still hold her hand. And so she's walking and she started waving at every person. <laughs> it's so funny, like people then, of course, I, I think it's so funny because it puts a smile on everyone's face you know like everyone is busy with their day and then they see this little girl that is waving at them like this and and then they're like also waving back and some they're also like oh come come and then she wants to go there did fanta already say her first word uh yes she says mama <laughs> she says it sometimes she says it randomly but i really feel that she only says it when she really wants to get my attention because she she doesn't say just mama she just she says like mama 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 but she only says it when like for example she wants to be hugged or when someone else is hugging her and then i come into the room she's like ah oh, mama 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 and she wants to get hugged from that by me so uh yeah she's saying mama <laughs> but other than that she's just she's talking a lot she's saying like blah 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 uh, 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 uh. <laughs> but uh, no actual words uh, is it that what is it that makes you radiate so much positivity and good vibes um well thank you <laughs> so um i think just being having a positive life view but i mean not every day is are positive not at all <laughs> so i have also my bad days and um i just don't show them on social media like on my bad days i really don't feel like filming i don't feel like taking pictures i don't feel like getting ready and so and it's not only bad days also very busy days and i mean you can probably also see that from my instagram while because i don't post story instagram stories every day and so on those days where i don't post it's just because i'm busy or i don't feel like talking to the camera or i just have so many stuff to think to do or i'm just tired so not always but uh yes uh, i would say that mainly i'm happy i'm a happy person i'm i i'm i'm thankful for all the positive things that uh, happened in my life and so that's why i just feel thankful and happy will we ever see a vlog in the future of fanta vacationing in senegal definitely yes i really want to go to senegal i want to finally meet my cousins again <laughs> because it's been a long time i haven't been there i used to go there with my family when we were children like me and my sister when we were children a lot but now uh, it's been a long time also since i live in korea when i take a big trip <laughs> it's always going to italy because most of my family is there so of course like it it's a lot of money that we always need to use for going to Italy and also uh, as for Fanta she's still a small child she's a baby and so that's why I didn't feel comfortable yet to take her to a subtropic uh, country yet because there are a lot of precautions that you need to do also you need to do a lot of vaccines and uh, like mandatory vaccines in order to be able to enter Senegal and so yeah so that's why I will definitely go but when she's a little bit older <laughs> I remember my parents went with me when I was I think one and a half years and yeah i think that was very stressful for them so i think uh, i'm gonna go a little bit maybe when she's three or four maybe at that time can you recommend living in korea as a foreigner without the, without any knowledge of the language i mean yes i was living in korea for two years without knowing korean at all but i was studying the whole time and so that's why i would say you can still come to Korea, but I would always suggest to then start studying because most of the people here, like they might understand English, but they always prefer to speak Korean. So it's much, much 
much easier to live in Korea when you can speak Korean. Did you ever get nervous about having Fanta around Sarangi when she was small? Yes, I was so nervous. I especially during pregnancy I was very afraid like I didn't know how to do I read a lot of books on how to introduce a baby to to a dog because actually Sarangi was our baby and also she never met other babies because we didn't we don't know any other friends with babies so um, I was very nervous about it especially when we came home from the hospital but it turned out that she was very very calm and very welcoming Fanta she was very curious of Fanta and yes we were very very careful at the beginning but then by the time when we saw that she's actually so kind and so um like yes yeah, she likes licking her and we always try to tell her no but other than that she's very kind and she's never trying to like do something or showing any signs of jealousy so actually i'm very happy that it's going like this <laughs> this is a long question mainly this question is saying like since Fanta doesn't look like me <laughs> uh, if I get any how do I feel when or if I'm disappointed that she doesn't look like me or how do I feel when people are like commenting on that and actually yes a lot of people comment a lot of these things on social media and but i never really got comments like from strangers on the street or stuff like this um but i don't know they might think about something but they never say something so it's fine and also comments on social media really i'm totally not affected about that because i mean i know first of all that she's my baby and she doesn't need to look like me uh, I don't know if if a child looks like her mom nobody is saying like oh she's all her mom poor daddy or stuff like that so I I don't feel I, I don't know why people are um, saying stuff like this and also I mean I'm mixed as well <laughs> and I grew up with like my mom <laughs> she is like she's white she's she's blonde she has blue eyes so she totally doesn't look like me maybe now when i got older i started getting her facial features and uh but still <laughs> we still don't look the same people are saying that we look similar but um as a child i didn't and so she got sometimes asked like or actually it was more like this people were saying oh you're such a good person you adopted a child from Africa but when she said like no my husband is from Africa then there were like weird looks so I mean I already went through a lot of stuff so I really have a thick skin when it comes to that thing so I'm really not affected about any bad comments or I don't think they're even bad like they're just joking so I don't care uh, do you feel you fully adjusted to the new normal of being a working mom and wife I mean yes you I mean you are uh, pregnant for nine months it's a long time to get ready for it even though then everything is different <laughs> but I must say I'm really happy that I'm a working mom because I feel like otherwise there would be something that I needed more so I still have like my thing if I would be I think less ambitious I would be much less stressed out but um, I mean that's the thing that makes me happy and so yes <laughs> and also I must say especially when it comes to modeling I feel that I become more calm because I mean when you work as a model you have to cope with a lot of rejection you make a lot of castings you go to a lot of auditions and you get 10 percent of the jobs <laughs> before being a mom i was that was my my only job i was also not really doing a lot of youtube so uh, that was my only thing and i always felt very very bad uh, when I got rejected of course with the time you get used to it so you're like oh, okay whatever 
but you still feel like I need I need to get jobs now I need to get what now since I I'm a mom as well I'm like yeah I can work I can get a job and that's great I'm very happy if I get accepted for a job but if I'm not it's also okay. I know you've lived in Korea for a while but do you ever feel out of place there um, hmm. there are many things that I just don't do which usually Koreans do but I don't feel like excluded from anything if, if it comes to like social norms or things that are supposed to do from the society I'm actually happy that I'm a foreigner here because I really don't like to adjust <laughs> to society that's also why I really didn't like uh, living in my hometown because there you have like much more pressure on showing that you are reaching like some type of milestones that you should reach at a certain age or that you should reach when your job or stuff like this you know also here are so many people so you kind of nobody <laughs> and this is much more comfortable so um, yeah i think i'm i'm feeling good i'm feeling good that i live here in korea will fanta have a birthday party yes of course she will be one in two weeks <laughs> and yes we're gonna do the dolchanchi which is like the korean first birthday party very traditional and you're gonna see it because of course i'm gonna do a vlog about it <laughs> how drastically has fanta's presence changed your life it has changed a lot because i always i'm never alone and i'm a person who really likes being alone like you can see it from my hobbies i like to crochet i like to work out but it's like it's not a burden it's just different i have one new goal and that's being making sure that fanta is doing well taking care of her and this is something that i'm surprised but i really like it it gives me new purpose in my life uh, it has changed a lot everyone will tell you that who becomes a parent but it's mainly changes in a good way have you always worn your hair curly and curly confidence advice uh, no i didn't always wear my hair curly i just straightened my hair permanently because i also wasn't very confident when i was a child with my hair because i got laughed at it a lot when finally uh, the <clears throat> it was able to straighten the hair permanently i immediately did that I remember it was a lot of money so I had to um, <laughs> wish wish that for Christmas or for like as a birthday present then I just said it's enough I'm gonna cut off all the straight hair and let it grow and that was four years ago so I had very short hair uh, I was not very confident with short hair so I did a lot of ponytails with a fake ponytail at that time as soon as it started growing and with pregnancy my hair grew much much faster ever since I started uh, taking care of my curly hair I don't let anyone straighten my hair anymore or use any uh, hair dam damaging project, uh, products so I mean hair confidence conf confidence advice I got confident because here in Korea many people really liked my curly hair I got many jobs because of my curly hair so um, kids can be very very cruel when it comes to stuff like this especially when you are a minority but later you just start start not caring about and you start seeing the beauty in your natural beauty <laughs> which language can fanta follow directions to the most or understands the most so fanta she actually understands korean as well as german uh, i realized that because when i say clapping in german she claps and when my husband says clapping in korean she claps does fanta have more mommies or daddy's personality i think she has she starts having my personality she's smiling a lot and i don't think i was a child that was smiling a lot i need to ask again my mom but she starts to become very i want to have this now <laughs> and i'm this type i was this type of person 
uh, but then on the other side she's also very open like she waves to strangers and she is she she already shows that she's a very open person and also very social person and i was not that type of person so maybe my husband was like this like she, he's kind of introverted now but his family always said that when he was younger he was much more extroverted so probably both are you going to get fanta into modeling you should she's gorgeous and loves the camera um yes i mean if she loves it if she likes it i would never stop that now at the moment she likes the camera but she doesn't know it's a camera she doesn't know that all the people will see her so once she starts realizing that i have no idea if she likes that so the same with youtube when she gets older and she doesn't like to be filmed or be on youtube anymore then i will respect her decision and not do it so we will see so here are a couple of questions that also other people asked and um, they were curious about about my favorite korean actor actress korean idol and um my favorite k-drama and so on so my favorite k-drama <laughs> i don't watch many k-dramas but i really loved crash landing on you <laughs> it's my favorite drama i think i watched it two times and um yeah my favorite actor is that actor in it like hyunbin <laughs> and the cool thing about it is that um I had twice a shoot with him <laughs> so the first time I didn't know him so I was kind of like I, I was like ah, okay another Korean actor that I don't know <laughs> and um, the second time I already know knew him because of the drama and so I was like yeah I'm gonna have a shoot with him <laughs> so of course always him the main model and me one of the sub models so yeah and favorite K-pop idol is G-Dragon. <laughs> I really liked G-Dragon for a long time. I really like I, the only K-pop group that I really know most of the songs of is Big Bang. All the other K-pop groups I usually only know their most famous songs but I really like Big Bang and also my husband really likes Big Bang so uh, we have that in common as well <clears throat> because he usually also mainly listens to R&B and black music but when it comes to Big Bang we really, really like that <laughs> what is the best time to visit Korea spring and autumn don't come in winter and don't come in summer <laughs> is there a chance that you move to another country in the future well at the moment we live in korea and we don't really plan on going somewhere else but it's not excluded because i learned to say never say never <laughs> because you never know what um life will bring to you or I don't know if I said that correctly. So yeah, we don't know. Let's see. <laughs> what has been your biggest struggle? I actually thought a lot about this question and I think my biggest struggle was going to high school. <laughs> the worst years of my life, I would say. I would never go to high school again. I would rather do university again, but never high school. It was way too much to study, way too much anxiety from bad teachers, like devil teachers. <laughs> I hope no teacher is watching my YouTube videos. <laughs> Even though I hate it this time, because I also didn't have a good, like teenage years are supposed to be the years where you make mistakes, where you go in, get in tro uh, trouble, where you go out and party a lot and stuff like this. Uh, I was not able to do that because I mean I had to go to sleep early on a Saturday night because I knew I had to study the next day but it was also a time I think that <clears throat> influenced me on the person that I am and a lot of things that I'm able um, to be consistent and um, you know like to take responsibility and stuff like this i think i learned in high school uh, do you worry about fanta being bullied for being mixed race since korea is so homogeneous um i know that korea from the news uh, is a, um that in schools they bully a lot of people not only um not only mixed people so bully bullying 
yeah um is is an issue here in general i really hope she will never have this problem but um at the moment it's not a thing that i really think about but i hope she will have my personality and don't give up about it as said i also like now italy is not a homogeneous country anymore because we have like now second generation of immigrant and expats but back in my time when i was a child like my dad was one of the first black people in my hometown and so there were almost no black people or foreigners in school i usually was the only mixed person or person of color where you can see what's your top three advice for new moms mm. It's okay to make mistakes <laughs> and don't plan too much during pregnancy on how your life will be because everything will be different anyways and one more make sure to take time with like that that you still have alone times with your husband or partner because um yeah, that's a thing that I need to work on. Where can I get a curly haircut in Seoul? Um, unfortunately, I cannot say n n nowhere because I don't know everything. But me, I said I cut my hair four years ago, and I like my husband did it, and then I just trimmed my hair maybe two or three times, and that's what's always at home. So I'm sorry, but. But I mean, it's also difficult to find a good hairstylist for curl hair in Italy, so I'm not surprised. <laughs> oh, that was it. <laughs> that was it for today's video. It's pretty long. I hope I can cut it a little bit shorter. I hope I was able to answer most of the questions. I'm sorry if there is one question that you ask and it's not there um, maybe I will do another Q&A session um, later on but I answered a lot of questions so <laughs> you know a lot of things more about me and my life here in Korea and yeah thanks again for following us in this journey I'm very happy how things are going now I'm very thankful for all of you guys for always watching our videos and for always giving so much good comments and good inputs so i'm really happy and uh, yeah thanks so much and if you like this video please like it also please subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next one see you guys bye bye